Ulam and I have been here in beautiful Athens, Texas since February at the Texan RV Park, home of the NRVTA. I've been work camping while we're here, doing all sorts of different jobs. And today I thought I would strap on the old GoPro and take you along with me as I rebuild Site 111 using the park's brand new Kubota SVL 65-2. Hi, my name is Ulema, and this is my husband Jason, and we travel full-time in our fifth wheel with our pup Thelma. We love seeing nature and all the beauty and wonder this great country has to offer, as well as the corny ones. So grab your favorite drink, sit back and relax as we share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly side of RV life as we travel state to state. So this uh, site is in really bad shape. It's been let go for a long time. So I'm gonna try to scrape out some of this grass first. Well, weeds really. And then uh, level it out as best I can. And this one we're going to experiment with. We've got uh, a fresh load of crushed asphalt. So we're going to level this out nice and clean with the gravel. And then I don't know if you can see the white line where it's marked. We're going to put railroad ties in this one to contain the uh, gravel and the asphalt. So let's go. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it loose, throw the gravel back down, grade it out, and then I'm going to rake it, rake up all the uh, weeds and everything, and uh, try to get it as clean as possible. grab some railroad ties so I got to switch to the grapple we don't have any new railroad ties yet so I have to dig through these old ones and try to find I don't know probably four or five good ones 
So let me see what I can do. Unfortunately, these have railroad or uh, rebar stuck in them still too. It's gonna make it kind of difficult. Bar won't let it click back. Oh. Oh. It's got a bunch of fire ants in there, too. Wow, there's a lot of fire ants in there. Rebar on this one too. Jeez. All right, let me see what I can do with this. Just finished setting all the railroad ties. I'm dropping off the and unhooking the grapple, and I'm gonna grab the bucket and then go get a load of gravel. So let's go. me to make a driveway for the truck to park after it unhooks from the trailer. So I'm going to scrape out the grass now. So this is day two. The site is uh, graded out and tamped out. 
and I just put up some makeshift forms. I'm going to grab the crushed asphalt now, dump it and start spreading it and I'll kind of explain it to you when we get over there. Okay, so you can see I got my makeshift forms. I'm just going to kind of form it as I go. I didn't want to just lay it straight on and then it's not going to be even on the sides because we're only doing the part where the uh, RV actually backs in. I've never done this before with the crushed asphalt. So I'm going to kind of just dump it and I don't want to get past the form yet. Just kind of stay with, within the area that I'm at and I'll just kind of work my way down. I've never spread it before, so I don't know how, how well it spreads or, or what. I may have to do a lot of a lot of it by hand, but we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 